What's going on, everybody? With Ahsoka ending next Tuesday, with who knows how that's going to happen, we have Loki Season 2 popping up next Thursday. And what better way than to re-go over the plot? Obviously, there's a lot of that in my receipts and my scoops, under my highlights and my my X, I guess, or my Twitter, whatever you'd like to call it. But I thought we'd go over that plot leak one more time for Loki before the show starts. And obviously, throughout the weeks, I'll be showing, like, you know, what scooper was right? What was going on? What about episode one? What about, and you know, we'll go on to each one of those. We'll do a review after that. And obviously going to throw in a podcast. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, I like to rant, like to talk about it, like to do stitches and whatnot and talk with people all day long. So follow those if you would like. And I'm also going to start a comic book channel. Now I'm super excited for that because as somebody who avidly reads comic books, I thought might as well start sharing with the world as people always ask me in our big group chat. What am I reading? You know, how is this comic book? And I thought, what better way than to break it down, make it smaller, and kind of do a little bit of information around it. Obviously, I'm not Comics Explained, but I know a little thing or two about comic books. But anyways, let's get into Loki stuff. Loki and Mobius must protect the new timelines that emerge from the death of He Who Remains, and the innocents that live in them. Kate Dickey plays older Sylvie who tries to right her wrongs by recruiting rogue TVA agents to destroy the new timelines. In the season 1 finale, Loki actually went back in time when TVA first formed and He Who Remains was not hiding from others. He Who Remains later erased everybody's memories and made them believe in the Timekeepers. Ki Hoi Kwan plays Bo, the creator of the TVA's time technology. Loki's mind flits between TVA's past and present until Mobius brings him to Bo, who develops a device so that Loki can fully return to the present. Raphael Castle plays X5, a rogue TVA agent who attempts to exploit the temporal chaos to become a 1970s Hollywood star. During a mission to stop X5, Loki reunites with Sylvie, who is in hiding in the 70s, and they eventually rekindle their romance. Loki's variants aside from Richard E. Grant's classic Loki return, who we actually saw die against the Lyoth, will not be returning, sadly. Sylvie's variants are introduced. Jonathan Majors plays several Kang variants, including Victor Timely and Mr. Gryphon. We've also been hearing a lot about him being he who remains, but obviously we'll leave that for later as he will be returning in this season. There's also a pretty cool post credit scenes, if it's true or not. We don't quite know yet. Just was sent this information. But anyways, that's pretty cool in my opinion. I'm going to uh, put stuff above on the screen and we're going to go over these because realistically, most of this makes a lot of sense. Obviously, they do go to Bo and we see Loki shoot back and forth in time between the little bit of the trailer, which is literally right here. Check it out real quick. You see him time looping. Um, as for the other ones, we do know that Loki uh, is going after Sylvie, who he sees at McDonald's. Once again, right here. We don't have any actual confirmation yet that Kate Dickey shows up. Like, we haven't seen her yet. So, obviously, that's going to be a surprise and whatnot. And then, obviously, we get a lot of information regarding this Ferris wheel that keeps happening. There's an event in Chicago. It's like an inventor's thing where we see Victor Timely in the trailer. And apparently, that plays a huge thing where there's going to be a battle with Miss Minutes, with Loki, with Mobius, and with Victor Timely. And apparently that came from Cosmic Circus and then later on was also talked about by Can We Get Some Toast, backed by Daniel RPK, backed by Grace Randolph, and so on and so forth. But with that being said, those are the leaks right now for Loki. Obviously, I'm not going to go into the receipts. If you'd like to see those, check those out over here on my X or Twitter, whatever you would like to call that website at this point, as you can check all the stuff that was posted all the scoopers have claimed stuff that have been right and will be wrong and essentially once we get to those episodes i will mark them off with either a green circle as yes or a red circle as wrong as always let me know what y'all thought down below hope you all are enjoying ahsoka and get ready for loki season two because once we do that's going to be the big kick for the multiversal saga hope you all have a great rest of your night and i'll catch y'all in the next one